Good evening, everyone. I've made a good call tonight. Look at that beautiful sky there. And this is a nice spot, the beautiful purple flowers, cow parsley, field is gorgeous, the undulating cliffs there, lovely. I'm at Trimmingham. I've finally made it to North Norfolk, people. Well done, John. Had to borrow 10 off my mum to get up here with the petrol. <coughs> lovely spot. I was here about a month ago, shooting the cliffs. Wasn't really an awful lot of sky that evening, but I had some lovely ideas. Unfortunately tonight, the only flying the ointment, shall we say, is that the sun is going down over there and it's gonna be behind heavy cloud. But at the end of the day, if we've got a cloudscape like this, we should be fine, or I should be fine. You're not with me, are you? No. So anyway, I'm not gonna gas on. I'm gonna have a go with a few of these here, put a few of these up, because I think this is an absolutely wonderful subject. Then I'm gonna move on to the cliffs and we'll take it from there. So catch you in a little while. Well, the sky behind is fantastic. This is really, really good, but there is a little bit of a fly in the ointment. Apart from the fact that we're not gonna get any sun, there's also a storm out to the west, which is coming in. I actually already hear the thunder. There's already a bit of lightning. So I've gotta be very careful where I plonk myself. There's a bit of woodland there, so I can get back to the woodland if it really starts throwing it down because I haven't got any proper rain gear. Shouldn't really be holding this at the moment like this. Uh, but it'll make great, I'd probably get the old um, subscribers up if I, you know, get zapped or something. Hmm, not something you want to think about. Anyway, hopefully I can get some shots along the cliffs here before I maybe have to make a run to it, run for it. But anyway, I'm going to get on because I think time may be fairly short now and hopefully there'll be something appearing before your eyes in a little while. Okay, better go. Well, I haven't been struck by lightning yet, which is a bonus. The wildflowers, the wildflowers on the top of the cliffs. Oh, they are so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There's lots and lots of bees in here as well. That's lovely to see, beautiful. So sky's still wonderfully brooding over there. Haven't heard any um, thunder for a while, so maybe that's passed. So maybe I'm a little bit safer than I was a couple of minutes ago. Whoops. Fantastic, fantastic conditions. No real crazy light but wonderful. So I'm gonna have a go here, try a few here, maybe bring the stopper into, into action here because of the movement in the grasses. I'm not sure if that matters too much in all honesty, but I'll put a couple of these up in a minute. Don't know why I always say a minute, but there we go. Wonderful. Okay, gotta get on. Oh, come on these. Yeah, even the views out to sea tonight are really good. I mean, that's in the distance there, the wind farm there is um, Sheringham Shoal Wind Farm. And the lovely thing about that is you've got some beautiful luminance in the sea. You've got that lovely band of pink or magenta on the horizon and blue sandwich in that lovely layer of pink. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, lovely scene, guys. I, the cliffs here are just fantastic. Look at all that lovely strata of oranges and yellows and greens against the lovely aqua blue in the background and that wonderful brooding sky. Fantastic, wonderful place. You know, everyone has these sort of, no, not everyone, no, I shouldn't say that, but a lot of people have preconceptions about Norfolk and that we're all flat and we're all, you know, a little bit dull, but you know, these, are impressive cliffs up here and just look at the erosion the amount of erosion that's happened here and it just literally slides down or crumbles down amazing place i should come here more often i will from now on fantastic
Well, that's the sun just disappeared. Guys, um, this vlog has been a little bit strange tonight because I had to shelter for about 20 minutes for a bit of a downpour. So I had to go back into the woods and just keep out of the rain. If not, I would have got absolutely soaked. So then I've come out and took a few images and really haven't had the time to, um, to do any sort of talking to you. And at the end of the day, as it should be, the photography is the priority. So that's what I've done tonight. So um, I'll try and patch this all together. Hopefully that'll be okay and put up some of the images I've taken. But a wonderful spot and I'll soon be, soon be returning here. I've just been speaking to a lovely couple that have told me a little bit further on and the cliffs you can see actually on the left there, there's some a lovely, lovely area of wildflowers, including poppies. So I may even make a visit here within the next couple of days, but thank you ever so much for joining me. I'm going to toodle off now for my tea, cup of tea, sorry, not my tea, I've had my tea. And I'm going to go on for a nice cup of tea. And I think I'm on a rich tea thing tonight, especially if I've had me tooth out, so I've got to keep, keep an eye on that. So cheerio, I'll have a little wave. Bye, 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 bye. Thanks ever so much for joining me at Trimmingham. Wonderful location. By the way, what you can see in the distance is Overstrand, another fantastic location. Wonderful groins there, cliffs. And if you go around the corner, great view towards Cromer. But that's for another day, I would imagine. So thanks ever so much. Take care. See you soon.